Hey guys, we're Jackie. I'm back in the video and today. If y'all can ask you from the title of the video, I'm here with a college advice video. So with that being said, key to the intro. You guys are helping me take one step to get to where I want to be and I, it's crazy. I, I love and I appreciate every single one of y'all. So before we start this video, I'm going to address the elephant in the room. So some of y'all may be wondering why I have UGA in the thumbnail, Georgia Tech in the thumbnail, Kennesaw State University in the thumbnail, and Georgia State in the thumbnail. The reason why I have these in the thumbnails is because it is that time of the year where all these college videos are popping off, they getting views, all that stuff. Anything that is college related, whether it is college tips, college advice, I know that's the same thing, I don't know why I said that, but college tips slash advice, college, um, get to know your college, just anything that involves college. It's that time of the year where college videos get views. So I am here to capitalize on the <laughs> views and the traction that is coming to my channel. But not only that is because I'm genuinely trying to help y'all because I'm not gonna lie, when I was going to my freshman year of college, I was definitely one of them guys typing in Kennesaw State University college tips or just college tips in general because I was not gonna lie, I was very nervous because Transitioning from high school or whatever like to college is a big change. I'm not even gonna lie to you It's a big change, but it's a fun change. So that's why I'm bringing you out this video um, And yes, if you guys did not know I do go to Kansas State University So I got all the Kansas State University information for y'all um, But also with that being said, let me know down below in the comments or like this video If you guys want to see me do a strictly Kansas State University video because this one's also going to be involving the other colleges that I mentioned, UGA, Georgia State, and Georgia Tech. But yeah, just stay tuned and let me know if you guys want to see a strictly Kennesaw State University video. Also with that said, I do not attend those universities that I mentioned, but I have friends that do. I have friends that go to UGA, I got friends that go to Tech, and I got friends that go to Georgia State. So that's why I had to text them. I was like, yo, what's some college advice y'all give? And with that being said, they like not all of them want to be on camera, and that's cool, but Plus, it's the middle of summer too. A lot of people are doing their own things on vacation, all that fun stuff. So that's why I had to improvise and text them instead. So technically, I am kind of clickbaiting because I go to Kansas State University, but I did text my friends that go to other universities. So kind of, kind of not really, you know, it is what it is. But in this video overall, hopefully you guys can get some college advice, college tips that will help you guys out. Because like I said, I'm just here to help you out. I'm genuinely trying to give information that could help y'all. I texted so many people in my friends that I haven't even talked to in years that I know go to college. I texted them like, give me some college advice. I need this for a video. But like I said, I hope you guys can get some information from this video. But with that being said, we're gonna get started. So we're gonna start off from other universities to my university. And I'm gonna start off with my friends and I'm gonna mention their names and stuff like that. So I'm gonna shout out to my friends. You know, y'all help me make this video this video wouldn't have made if it wasn't for y'all so the first university we are going to talk about is going to be uga uga is the college that's farthest away from kennesaw state university georgia state and georgia tech because uga is in athens while kennesaw is in kennesaw and marietta uh, georgia state and georgia tech are both in atlanta and those both are like 20 minutes away so we're going to start off with uga so if you guys did not know i got my boy arsha who goes to uga and well, he actually started school at Georgia State University and then Gannett, Georgia Gannett College and then UGA. But we're going to start off with just UGA because that's where he's most likely going to graduate. But this is what my boy Arshan had to say. He said, college years are a once in a lifetime opportunity. Make use of it. So I get where he's coming from because bro, you are only in college for such a period of time. I'm going to my last year and it's like, bro, this time flew by so fast. Like... I, and you can't go back and change time. So I definitely agree with my boy Arshan. So just have fun. You know, you live once. Um, take everything as a learning experience and just grow from everything. Because I'm telling you, bro, college year is what it's college is what you make of it. So have fun, be yourself, and bro, oh my god. Also, I'm gonna mention this as well. I'm also probably gonna add more information to the advice that they say because that's part, that's just how I am and at the end I'll tell y'all my advice. I'm definitely probably gonna repeat myself a lot this video but I hope you guys enjoy it because these are genuine advice for me and my friends. Moving on to my second friend who goes to UJ, her name is Jay and she said even if you don't think you need help, don't be afraid to ask for help. And that's very true because I'm gonna be honest, we 
all been there. We don't want to be that kid in class that raise our hands and ask a dumb question, but it is true. Uh, there's never, there's no dumb question, because I'm not gonna lie. There's been times where I have asked questions that people have laughed at, but it's just like some people's brains don't work like others, so it's okay to ask questions. I have been there. There's been times where I've been in class where I've asked stupid questions, but like I said, no question is stupid. All questions matter. Even if you don't feel like you need help. It's okay to ask for help. There's been plenty of times where I thought I could do it on my own. In reality, I needed help. And it's okay to reach out to friends that can help. Or reach out to counselors, teachers, and professors. That They're paid to help you out. Teachers, professors are paid to teach y'all. Counselors are paid to counsel y'all. You know? And I know at Kansas State University, I don't know about UGA, but they, they're a bigger school, so I would hope so. They have, like centers that could help at case we have a writing center that can help write your papers and i think there's also a math thing math center or whatever that can help you out with math and stuff like that so i'm pretty sure all colleges have something similar to it so you guys should definitely look into that because it's you could always ask for help college is difficult and sometimes you need help and that's okay sometimes in life you need help and that's okay so don't be afraid to ask for help. And that is going to conclude the UGA section of this video. So moving on to Georgia State. So like my boy Arshan, I mentioned that he went to Georgia State University. But just like him, one of my other childhood boys, Boomy, he also went to Georgia State University. So he actually started at Georgia Gannett College, then he transferred to Georgia State University. But he, you know, took some gap because he wanted to focus on other things, and that's fine. But this is what my boy Boomy had to say. Talk to others with confidence because no one has a real personality. So basically what I'm I think he's trying to say is that there's a lot of fake people. You're going to come across a lot of fake people. They're going to seem genuine or whatever, but there's going to be people that like use you or like to have fake personas, if that makes sense. They're going to act one way around you, but then act differently behind your back. Something like that. So basically what I'm trying to say is just be confident. You know what I'm saying? Go talk to everyone. Like... Bro, you only live once in college, and like for me, it's like, so what if people don't like you, bro? Just be truly you. As long as you know who you are, it doesn't matter. Those people at Kansas State University who hate me, and that's okay. Like, I don't care, because it's just like, I'm still doing me. I know me. I take everything as a learning experience, because I'm going to be the first to admit I'm not perfect. I fucked up a lot in my past, and... That's normal. Everyone fucks up. We're human. If you don't, if you have never fucked up in your life, you must be an alien or something because we're human. We fuck up and that's okay. All we gotta do is just live and learn from our mistakes. So take it from me. I fucked up a lot. And I mean, I'm still here. I'm trying to be the best of me. I'm trying to grow, take everything as a growing experience. So just live and learn. And also just be careful who y'all consider close friends and stuff like that because. There are fake and weird people who will like take advantage or uh, abuse you, not abuse you, use you, stuff like that. So just be careful. Moving on to my next friend who goes to Georgia State University. Her name is TJ and she said, don't waste to the last minute to submit your work. Start studying for exams two weeks in advance. For me, what she's trying to say is sometimes don't procrastinate because depending on the professor, some work is easier, some work is harder. They give you more work, some give you less. And just make sure you are on top of your work. Because I understand everyone, it's a new environment. A lot, Like, a lot of people who just turned 18 are going to college, a new environment. They have this, like, they just got so much freedom. Just make sure you guys get your time management in check. Because time management is probably the most important thing. I think the reason why she's saying study two weeks in advance is because, let's be real, you're not going to study two weeks, those full two weeks. You're not going to study for those full two weeks. Take breaks in between, but also, like, you know, have fun. You have to manage having fun and your schoolwork. Because the real reason you are in college is for that degree. I get you want to have fun and make memories, but, like, if your grades are bad and you fail out, you can't have fun. So, school comes first, but make sure school comes first. Have fun, but make sure school comes first. So, my friend who goes to Georgia State University, her name is Sarah, she said some college advice that I would give would have fun, but put your work first. Enjoy your friends and family, make new friends, join clubs, learn something useful, take risks, create a bucket list. And then she said, mostly, I think my college advice is live in the present, but you also have to think about the future. Your future self is counting on, your, on you to be great. And I 100% I agree. Um, I definitely am going to preach, get, like, you can have fun, but get your work done first. And make sure you enjoy your friends and family because, like, but we're getting older. You don't know what could happen. 
So things change, all that stuff. So enjoy the moment, live in the moment, have fun with your friends and family while you can. Also join clubs, um, just try new things. But I know at Kansas State University, we always have events. And I would say if your college has events, go to events. I don't know about Georgia State, UGA, or Tech, but if there is, go to them events. Learn something useful. Yes, I agree. Because I'm going to be honest, a lot of the stuff that we learn in college, we do not need. But I will say, um, one of my classes that I've learned is my editing class. And I love it. I love the professor. And I learned some useful tips on my editing. So if y'all see how my editing's gotten better, it's because of them. So shout out to them. Also, take risks, bro. Like, of course, be safe and be careful. But take risks. Like, say one of these days... Say, for example, um, college events, you're like, oh, no, that looks boring. Just go to it. Who knows? You might be, meet your boyfriend, girlfriend, best friend. Who knows? Just take some risk. But be safe, though. And create a bucket list. That is so you can have something that you look forward to to achieve. I definitely agree. And also, like, she's right, bro. I didn't even think about it like that. Your future self is counting on you to be great. So then in order for you to be great, you have to work. You have to work hard. It ain't easy. Trust me, I believe you. Sometimes, like, I have to take a step back. If y'all did not know, my dream is to become a successful Asian content creator, specifically on YouTube. And sometimes I sit there and I look at my views, I look at my subscriber count, and I get unmotivated because it's like, what am I doing wrong? And I feel like I know what I'm doing wrong because I just feel like, I just want to be great. So my future self is focusing on me to be great. I can't be worried about my numbers, not now, because... I can't get in my feelings because like I have to work hard. Ain't nothing in life easy. You have to work hard. And if anything that I show y'all, I show y'all that I'm a hard working young man. And I hope that motivates y'all to work hard and grind because I'm telling you, I'm hungry for my dream. I, I'll make another video about this one of these days, but like I am so hungry to achieve my dreams and I hope you guys are too. Your future self is counting on it. And that is going to conclude the Georgia State University section of this video. Moving on to Georgia Tech, we are going to start off with my prom date actually. Her name is Angelica and she goes to Georgia Tech. So what she said is surround yourself with successful people because it will motivate you to work harder. And she also said, be willing to learn more about yourself and how to interact with different types of people. Apply to as many internships as you can. So what I'm getting from that is, basically you are who you surround yourself by. And I 100% agree to that, because I'm gonna be honest, if you surround yourself with bums, you're gonna act like a bum. But if you surround yourself with successful people, you're gonna try to be successful, because that's gonna you see what they're doing, that's gonna motivate you to do better. So I 100% agree with her. And I also agree, college is, where you also learn and find more about yourself. In high school, you could say you find yourself and all that stuff, but you're 18 when you finish high school. When you finish college, you could be 22 if you follow the tradition, but in college, you're gonna meet people of different age groups too, and it doesn't matter because it, it takes time. You're not gonna fucking magically find yourself in fucking a day or two. It takes time to find yourself. And you just, like I said, you just gotta live and you learn. Live and you learn and that's how you grow. And apply to as many internships. I agree because those can give you different opportunities, but also it just depends on the major. Cause for me, I don't really need an internship because I think my internship is my YouTube channel and stuff like that. So that's what I see it. But like, if you're a marketing major, nursing or whatever just apply as many internships as you can get because it is very competitive um also make sure it's a paid internship too because i'm like why don't don't work for free those paid internships don't don't work for free unless you want to unless you have to um but yeah i definitely agree and then she goes to tech so she gotta be smart so you gotta follow that advice so moving on next to my boy ahmed he actually started at Kansas state university but then he's transferring to georgia tech so shout out to him and go kill that tech you know what i'm saying show them what us ksu boys are about but what he said is as cliche as it sounds don't fuck up your freshman year it's the starting ground and principle of how your college experience will be. I can't tell you how many people I know who have had a bad college experience because they fucked up their freshman year and vice versa. And I agree, uh, like your freshman year is going to set you up. Um, for me, I fucked up my freshman year. I, I went into college not wanting to be here. 
The only reason I was here is because of family. So I was not motivated. I did not care. And I, I, I fucked up. I basically almost failed out. But good thing I didn't. I, I did just enough to get by with just B's. I was just a B's and I wasn't an Asian. But it wasn't until I took my gap semester, worked full time and realized like, damn, this is what I want to do. I want to go back to school and get my education and do what I want. Do like do what I got to do. So I 100% agree because I'm going to be honest, like... Freshman year is very important, and do not mess it up, because freshman year, the first two years, you guys are most likely going to be taking your gen ed classes, so your math, science, histories, English, those basic classes, you won't get into your major classes until junior, senior year, so it's only going to get harder, so if you guys are struggling as much, if you guys fuck up freshman year, just imagine junior, senior year, you don't want to fuck up close to the finish line so just make sure you are on top of everything time management time management time management time management i definitely butchered the word but time management is most it's so important i'm not even, i'm still working on it but that you gotta make sure you get your work done have a schedule fucking have a little notebook like with the calendar calendar that's, that's what i mean get a calendar write down all the stuff you need to do because most professors are going to give you guys the information of the due dates and all that stuff because some professors Due dates, if you don't turn it in before the due date, you get a zero. So just stay on top of your work. Stay on top of your work, please, for me. And now we are fine. And that is going to conclude the Georgia Tech section. Now moving on to the Kennesaw State University section. So we're going to start off with my friend Francia. She said, I would say to make sure you have a set schedule or planner or calendar to write due dates for assignments and tests. Even to write down what assignments to do for each day so you don't feel overwhelmed. So like I was saying... Get a calendar, write down everything, due dates, due dates, due dates, due dates. Have a set schedule. Time management is so important. So have a set schedule. If you want to take a nap, schedule certain times to take a nap. If you, so like, it's just basically to get your work done. I'm telling you, the quicker you get your work done, the quicker you can go have fun. But in college, you are here for education. Make sure you're on top of your schoolwork. I get you guys want to have fun, but you guys can have fun while doing schoolwork. There's been so many times when me and my friends would be go chilling, studying, doing work together, you know, all that fun stuff. You can do that. Study sessions are fun. You have little study dates. Ask a little girl or a guy, you know, on a little study date, you know. School comes first. You know what I mean? A lot of people put their school works first over anything else, and I don't blame them because school is hard, and it'd be like that. So, stay on top of your work. Moving on. My boy Barry, he said, hmm, well, one, if a freshman asked me, I would have an idea of what you want to do with your college time the summer before you go to college. I agree because in the summer, is basically just orientation. You get a vibe of the um, campus, tours, all that stuff. I'm extending orientation leader, so I've been seeing all these new students, and I definitely agree. Definitely take this summer before college actually starts to plan out how you want your college to turn out. And then two, he said, you don't have to go to every single party that is off campus. You could just stay in and vibe. Yes, me, I am not a party person. I like kickbacks. I like chilling with my friends, all that stuff. Sometimes I'd rather just be with close friends than at a party with people I don't know. That's just not my vibe. If that's your vibe, go crazy, be safe. Make sure you guys have a safe way there, safe way back, and be careful because people are weird, guys are weird, girls are weird, be safe. That's all I gotta say. But it's okay not to go to every event and every party or kickback or whatever because sometimes it's okay to just do you. And there's nothing wrong with a long time. And plus me, I don't like partying. i am be honest. I don't drink or smoke. I'm a good boy. Um, so that's just me. If you guys comment down below if you guys are good boys or good girls too, because we don't, we don't, I don't know. I just like kickbacks. I'll be vibing with my friends. I like a good time. Three, he said, the people you meet are going to be a hit or miss, so don't get your hopes up on trying to be the popular one. Yeah, i am be honest, a lot of people on campus here at Kansas State University are fake as hell. I'm gonna keep it the buck. A lot of people are fake as hell and do, will do you wrong. There's other content creators that go to the school who think they hot shit because they got so and so followers on TikTok, so and so followers on YouTube or IG. Who gives a fuck? That just like, but y'all fake as hell. And for me, I just be myself. I'm a weird, goofy ass dude. And if you don't like me, oh well, that's not gonna affect me. I'm here. I'm gonna do me. I'm living my best life. And like, that's why it's. I, it's hard for me to make friends and it didn't take me into my junior year to find my good friend group with Chris and Kyle and all of them. So I'm thankful for the friend group I have. So it's going to take time to make friends. But just make sure you keep 
the good ones, if that makes sense. Just make sure you try to just be the genuine you, be you, be yourself. Four, he said, try to get involved on campus, joining clubs or doing sports. I would definitely say, if you play basketball, go to the gym, play basketball. I met plenty of friends. That's why I met Matt and Jay. Um, just go, the, you everywhere on campus is an opportunity to make friends or just get involved on in campus. For me, what I do is I'm extended orientation leader. I'm part of a tradition at Kennesaw State University and I'm a freshman mentor, all that fun stuff. I love doing that. So if you guys go to Kennesaw State University and you guys go to First Flight or Alex Edition, I'll see you out there. Your boy will be your personal mentor. You know, I'm the best. Um, and yeah, just basically try joining a club as well. Um, just do things to get involved. And then five, he said, learn how to put yourself first and learn discipline, accountability, and responsibility. Yeah, you definitely gotta learn yourself. Like, college is where you find yourself. And when they say it, it's true. You gotta find yourself in college. It is what it is, but you know, it takes time. Just take everything as a learning experience. And moving on to my friend Julian, he said, I just say don't be too hard on yourself in general. It's all right to fuck up as long as you learn from it. So basically, what I've been saying this whole video, you live and you learn. You're gonna fuck up, we're human, we're gonna fuck up, but just as long as you learn from it, that's all that matters. Don't keep fucking up doing the same fuck up. As long as you fuck up and you learn, that's all that really matters. Moving on to Jay, he said don't procrastinate on your work. Um, funny story actually, I'm exposing you Jay, I'm sorry, but we, <laughs> so me, Chris, Kyle, and Lance and Jay, we went to Atlanta for a photo shoot thing for Chris, and we all got our pictures taken, but Jay, Jay had to stay in his car because he did not finish his work, that boy Jay did not finish his essay, so he had to stay and finish that paper, and he procrastinated it was just funny. It was a funny situation. But yeah, definitely don't procrastinate. It's Like I said, it's best to get your work done so you can have fun. So for me personally, I try to get my work done and then have fun. So stay on top of y'all work. Moving on to my friend Gabriel. She said, try new things and make an effort to put yourself out there. Definitely, definitely, definitely. 100%. Try new things. When in college, you live once. Um, try new things. Try new activities. Who knows? You might like something. You might not like something. You just got to learn with try like by trying. And also put yourself out there. Basically, make friends, talk to everyone. It doesn't matter. Talk to everyone because there's gonna be some people who are antisocial, introverts, extroverts, whatever. You're going to have to just, just talk to everyone. And that's the only way to get to know people. And you can definitely tell. You talk to someone, you don't feel a good vibe. All right, I'm, I'm gonna fuck with you and peace out. And you will never see them again. It don't matter. So if you want someone in your life, you will keep them in your life. If you don't, you will cut them off. That's just how life is. And it's okay to cut people off because sometimes. They just ain't supposed to be in your life, and that's okay. Um, are you going to feel bad? Yeah, but just you got to do what's best for you, and that's okay. Gabriel also said, give yourself some breaks. Reward yourself. Take time to enjoy, enjoy the spaces you're in. Yeah, definitely take some breaks, bro. you definitely going to need some study breaks. Reward yourself. Like, bro, I'm going to buy some easy slides if I got all A's. Um, and just take some time to enjoy yourself because, like, it's okay to take a step back. Because I know on Kennesaw, we have this big campus green. Eh, I'm gonna be honest, I've never done this, but I kind of want to now. Um, just sitting there and just observing the college that I go to. It's okay to just take a step back and just sit and watch and relax and see your environment, see what's going on. Because let's be real, after college, like college is supposed to be the time of your life. And after college, it's like we graduate, we're gone. So basically just live in the moment and enjoy the space while you are here. And also she said, skip a... She also said, skip a class or two, especially if it's a nice day outside. Um, me, personally, I would not recommend that. I would go to every class, that's just me. But it's like, it's okay. Sometimes shit happens, and if you need a day off, take the day off. Moving on to Jada. She said, leave early for literally everything and go to class, even if it's the non-mandatory ones. Uh, yeah, okay, if you're a slow walker, make sure you get to class, especially if you stay on campus or the parking deck's far from your class, like the building the class is in, make sure you leave early because like attendance is key and plus professors will notice that they will always they will see that say you go to a non-mandatory class the professor will see that you're putting in effort so if you have a 69 79 they might round you up to passing the class or even giving a grade higher so just go to class that's me personally like i said i go to every single class just to say walk with a purpose everywhere you go so basically walk like you know what you're doing you know what i mean so walk with a purpose Point blank period. Moving on to Alina. She said, I have one. Try getting out your comfort zone. Yeah, push yourself. Push yourself to your limits. You know, if you guys watched Yes Theory, I used to, 
So if you guys watched yesterday, they're probably one of my favorite YouTubers. They have a saying that says, seek discomfort. So seek discomfort, get out your comfort zone, do things you don't normally do, try new things, try new activities, make, go talk to people, seek discomfort. Um, she also said, look both ways before you cross the street on campus, stop at all stop signs because no one, no one does on campus. Um, she also said, give yourself false but early due dates so you can get your work done your head. Like I said, the quicker you get your work done, the quicker you can have fun. She also said, uh, make sure you have all your deadlines on your calendar so you get alerts. Like I said, get yourself a schedule. Get your calendar, get yourself a schedule, get your work done. School comes first. Have fun, but school comes first. And last but not least, it is going to be Bliss. Bliss said, just be yourself. Doesn't matter if you're quiet or like to talk a lot. You'll regret trying to fit in and be like others. I, I know it's cliche, sorry. But no, it, it makes sense because it's like, just be you. Just be be you, why switch up for anyone, bro? Like, I realized that, like, you can't switch up for no one because you aren't gonna be happy if you do, because that's not who you are. You gotta be who you are. The friend group that we've created, everyone I would hope is ourselves, our genuine selves. Just be you, you will find your friend group, it's going to take time. It's not gonna happen overnight. Things take time, good things take time. So just be patient and just be you. She also said, before school starts, locate your classes before so you're not lost on the first day. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, do that because not everyone wants to be that guy who's like, oh, you know what building did, you know what I'm saying? Don't, just, just like walk around your campus, get the feel of your campus so you at least know the building you're in so you don't walk up to someone and be like, where's the library? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's okay if you have to. Um, but me personally, I don't like asking for help. I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, I, I definitely locate my classes before. Bliss also said, also learn money management. Try things like bring lunch from home, avoid eating out every day, keeping a budgeting book, maybe even try thrifting. Just save your money for more important things or for when you want to go out or for when you want to go on outings with friends. Yeah, so money management is definitely a big thing because not a lot of college students are gonna work or if you have to work, it's okay because you just gotta make things work. Sometimes you gotta work and that's okay. So if you have to work, that's okay. You just gotta work hard, grind, cause nothing in life is given. You have to work hard to fucking get what you gotta do. Do what you gotta do. For me personally, I work two jobs right now in college and YouTube. I'm trying to make my dreams a reality. So I'm working hard, I'm grinding. I'm trying to make my dreams a reality. You know the vibes. And the last thing she said, learn how to manage your stress and don't lose yourself. Yeah, I would say mental health during college is very important because you will end up losing yourself, but you know, we got friends. Um, just basically what I'm trying to say is focus on your mental health because I'm sorry, my camera's about to die. I'm trying to finish this real quick, but yeah, just focus on your mental health. And yeah, yeah. So my last words for me are going to be, just be yourself. You live and you learn, you make mistakes. You're gonna bounce back. You gotta work hard. Nothing in life is easy. You gotta work and fight for it. And also just have fun. But just remember, you have to focus on school first. School comes first and have fun. And if you guys want to see another college advice video, just let me know down below in the comments and hit that like button. That'll let me know that you want to see a part two. And yeah, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this college video. I know it's a lengthy one, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys got something new from this, some new information that you needed. And just comment down below what advice you needed to hear the most. So with that being said, subscribe, send your boys out.